Okay, so this is Ringwalk Media in association with Well Eyes Therapy. These are words I never thought I would utter. Harley Ben, very nice to see you on our channel. Very nice to see you also, mate. Very, very ple pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be here. Well, listen, all funds aside, it's good to see you, mate. And uh, you've got so got some news coming up. I don't know if you can tell us yet, but you've got something in the pipeline, haven't you? Yeah, I can tell you that I'm going to knock out Mick Hennessy Jr. Uh, for facts. Um, I've got two fights in the pipeline, one with uh, Mick Hennessy Jr., which is going to come first, and then the second one being Joe Laws, um, get them both done by the end of the year. Um, I'll be honest, I respect Joe Laws, um, good fighter, game, we're going to have a, a good time, the build-up's going to be amazing. Mick Hennessy, absolutely no respect for, boring, ugly, um, no personality. Um, and he's, I think he's trying to use me as a stepping stone based on my last performance, on my last fight. And it's going to go horribly wrong for him and Daddy. Well, listen, last fight, OK, it wasn't quite the result you wanted, but that's all part of learning in boxing, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Listen, I, um, I didn't underestimate Fazan at all. I knew he was a good boxer. I mean, he's undefeated, 50% knockout, knockout ratio, but I didn't think he was as good as that. In, in, in my opinion. When I got in there, first two rounds, I was like, right, okay, this this, this kid can really box. Um, I'd never fought over four rounds, and it was a 10-round fight. In the seventh, I thought I'm gonna take a round. I, was, I know I was well down, so I thought, right, I've got, I've got to score multiple knockdowns, or I've got to knock him out to win. So in the seventh, in my head, I was gonna take a round off. But with my inexperience in boxing, taking a round off, doesn't mean you can just get punched in the head and the ref not do anything about it. And unfortunately, I thought it was an early stoppage, but it wasn't in any way, shape or form um, an early stoppage. Um, the better man won on the night. I learned from it and we move forward. Well, listen, that's what it's all about. And if you've learned from it, you're going to come back stronger, better. And uh, it sounds like, especially Mick Hennessy Jr., he's in big trouble. It, he is. It's, it's, it, listen, he is. And, and, and I'll tell you for why, because... Like I said, he's trying to use me as a stepping stone. He's nothing special. He, he isn't nothing special. We sparred before and... Bammed in the spar. A spar is completely different to a fight. Completely different. But what I, what I will say is I absolutely ruined him. So I see the fight going the same way. And, and the other fight, of course, you know, that, that's, a, that's, that's quite a good matchup. I quite like that one. I think it's a really good matchup because we've both lost at a higher level, both lost at a level we shouldn't have lost at. It's a lot on the line, really, for, for the me versus Joe Laws fight. It's, I will come through the Mick Hennessy fight. Um, and then it really is me and Joe, like, where, who go, where do you go after that if you lose that one? That one's, uh, so that one is, I think, really all to go for. But then, you know, you're still quite young in your boxing career. You've got a lad like, for example, James Moorcroft, come from a white-collar background. He's had 21 fights now, no amateur background, and he's fighting for English titles. So there's no reason why you can't continue, even after that, if it's not your way. No, listen, I, I love to fight. I love to get paid. Put them both together, win, lose, or draw. I'm as game as you like. I will fight anyone. There's not a fight I'll decline. If the money's right, I'll fight anyone. Um, I mean, I, I've compared myself to someone before, and I don't mean in the level of them, because I'm not their level, but you see, for example, the gay brasados of boxing. Win, lose, or draw. He's going to bring the heat. He's going to come with fire. him? <laughs> are you letting him interview? After all them Instagram posts, are you letting him in? Harley, did you, did you realise this was Ringwalk? You know this is Ringwalk, in there. We're, we're friends. We're friends there, boys. Yeah, there we go, Mr. Sonny Edwards himself. He's referring to Monday Madness, which was quite frankly the worst fucking idea in the world. Monday Madness, Toxic Tuesdays, uh, yeah, Wankers Wednesdays, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Good times, good times. Listen, talking to Sonny, I mean, he's got the one he wanted. He's got Ban Rodriguez, and that's uh, out in Fe in Arizona. Um, I've actually booked my flight, so I cannot wait for this fight. Yeah, I'm going to be there. Uh, I'm going to be there, definitely. As long as it doesn't clash with any fights that I'm having, I will be there. Um, obviously, we know how good Ban Rodriguez is. 
that, that, that's a given. But Sonny is, I just think, a level above everyone when it comes to the natural talent of boxing. I believe he's a level above everyone. It's, um, yeah, Bam Rodriguez is a, is a banger, but Sonny shown in, I think, not his last fight, the fight before, he can stand in the pocket. He can, he can, he can fight a puncher. Is you know, so it's a great matchup. I've got Sunny for the win on points. Yeah, I think so too. Or a late stoppage, actually. Yeah, no, I can see it happening as well. Mr. Sunny Edwards, yeah, is going to beat Bam Rodriguez, and it's going to be on my first. Look at the trouble. My, my first trip to America. Listen, we, I, can't, I can't wait for that. And of course, the reason we're here tonight, Lyndon Arthur. Yeah hopefully going to become a world champion yes i believe he will be um and i believe he'll do it in devastating fashion also uh, i really believe he's gonna shine tonight um because as Lyndon's friend in all honesty i didn't think his last performance was his best so i think tonight he's going to want to show exactly what he can do and he will listen Lyndon's last fight to be honest although it was a fight he had 24 hours notice and you know what Lyndon's like he will just do what he has to do because he wasn't motivated to win the world title at that point. Anybody in that position would feel the same. Exactly. Taking that away f from you a couple of, well, it was 24 hours before the fight, it is going to demotivate you. And I respect him for getting in there and doing a good job on, on Crichton because Crichton is no mug, you know, he's, he's really not. Um, and he put him down nicely in the, uh, I think it was in the ninth or the 10th. 10th, I think. I think. Yeah, 10th round, lovely should have let that right hand go a bit earlier on in the night but when it when that right hand goes the right uppercut the jab the straight right when he lets them go people are in trouble he proved he's proven it time and time again well listen we're having a cracking night here it's so good to have you on the channel here right oh, no, mate i'm actually buzzing to be on the channel i'm, I'm really glad to be interviewed back we only do positive mate and it's all yeah. all fun and games mate all that's, fun and games that's it mate the only negativity will be when I knock out Mick Hennessy and it will be negative on his side, not mine. So yeah, all positivity over okay. Let's leave the interview. Let's finish the interview with a little message to Mick Hennessy Jr. Wow, okay, Mick. Um, and Bradley as well. Because um, he's been talking a lot of shit online. Um, I hope you're ready because I know you think you're categorically going to beat me. I'm going to stop Mick Hennessy within seven rounds. People put some money on it. Because I, I, I won't be the favourite, but I will stop that boy within seven rounds. Well, there we go. Big words. We really wish you well, Harley. And it's so good to finally get you on the channel. I'm glad we're friends now because you are a bit bigger in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. All right, mate. Cheers.